Hi, I'm sitting here today with my good friend, Dr. Gene Sessions, a professor of history at Weber State University, uh, been in the history department, espousing history for over 35 years. And my friend, Craig Oberg, Dr. Craig Oberg, we've been very good friends all those years, and, uh, and we've talked a lot about uh, how our two disciplines interface, and, and this uh, massive open online course gives us a chance to, to do it officially. I admire what Craig does, I don't understand a lot of what he does, uh, but uh, we're, we're, we're certainly anxious to uh, put together what we've discussed all these years and our friendship, if you will, into, into this course. You know, Craig, uh, we're going to start off with uh, something I think everyone can identify, and that's the role of disease in religion. Uh, because when you are sick, that's a time a lot of people begin to think about, you know, why am I sick? And uh, where can I turn for help? And when there's massive disease, people lose faith in religion. Yeah, I think you can uh, probably plot interest in religion with the great uh, epidemics and pandemics that have swept through the world in the course of recorded history. And uh, you're right, Gene, it's easy to, uh, to correlate uh, these outbreaks with changes in people's uh, religious views and the advent of certain religions. Yeah, you blame the priests. Uh, if, there, if, if people are sick, uh, what's wrong with our shaman? Why can't they help us? Uh, and uh, maybe we, be, we blame ourselves for the disease. Uh, we must be evil. We must be doing awful things to cause this, this pestilence to come upon us. And so, again, uh, you can see through the course of history the presence of disease affecting the prevalence, the absence of the course of religion. It's, it's really quite fascinating. Craig, do you think the rise of medical technology has something to do with what people are now calling a post-religious age? Oh, I think so. I think when, you know, now that we know the cause of many diseases, we have effective treatments and even preventative measures, uh, then that allows you to rely less on your deity, your, your, your religious underpinnings to uh, understand what the, what's happening to you and what's happening to the population in general. So I suspect disease has had a, an effect on that recently. And, and we have the uh, obvious notion that, disease, that religion plays a, a, a role in a lot of aspects of how we deal with travail in our lives. For example, explaining mortality, at a, a period, uh, healing, those well, kinds of things. Yeah, yeah, I think, uh, you know, uh, prior to the last uh, couple of centuries, when if you view uh, your disease as a condition of you being sinful or not in tune with God or with your gods, then then that, that really has a profound effect on behavior, even the behavior of a whole culture. And when you see a different religion, a different group of people who believe something different than you that, that have less disease, that, that appear healthier, that recover, then that's gonna draw you like a magnet to that. So often we think about religion and the evolution of it as to explain death and to help us look beyond death. But when we get down to it, it had an awful lot to do with people worried about what happens before death. Uh, during this uh, uh, module, this unit, we're going to be looking at some episodes where this seems to be the case. For example, I don't think very many people know, Craig, that there may have been a role of disease in the uh, birth of Islam. Yeah, that's right. And even if you look at something uh, very close here in the United States, the, the, the impetus for the Salem witch trials. Yeah. yeah. How many people know that there may have been a disease factor there? The rise of Christianity in ancient Rome. Yeah, Gene, I think most people do not realize that uh, the bifurcation of religion uh, from Catholicism and to Protestantism was really spawned by disease in that period of time. And in many of those episodes, the bubonic plague, which we'll explain a bit about as we get into yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, uh, bubonic plague uh, was swept through Europe uh, number of times uh, in the recorded history had a profound effect, uh, I think, on uh, religious views and, and what happened with religion in that area. I don't think there's another uh, place in history where we can see so clearly because of these connections we've mentioned today between disease and, uh, and history are more prevalent than in this subject. Yeah, so we uh, welcome you to explore it as we have.